All right, guys, let's do this. Now, on this trail, we are discussing about manage your pick list values. So without further ado, let's dive into our hands-on orgs here. And I'm going to go to Playful Wolf. And let's go back to our trail. So, good value management matters. Where you set, where you set your pick list values, um, we have set that. Of course, it's in fields and relationships. So let's go to our hands-on org here. It's always under the gear icon and setup. So let's talk about our swimming lessons as this is our story for this trail head and we are going to object manager do you remember where the swimming lessons are they are in the opportunity object so i'm going to opportunity over here and we go to fields and relationships and last time we create level which is the pick list and then there is level completion status but let's focus on the swim kits level over here now if you click there now we have these values 1 through 10 right we have the actual values we have the api name we have a default flag if you want to default it and then the the this particular value will be the default value meaning when the field is presented this is going to be pre-selected the chart colors is when you make reports and dashboard so you can assign a particular value its own color for example one is um, purple pink and so on yellow green blue and so on you can assign each value so when you make a report on the chart you want to see how many kids are on level one and then you see the, the color right or maybe the same color from one to three you say yellow so four to six you say um, orange and then seven to, to nine is green and ten is purple and ready to become a lifeguard yeah, maybe red, you know, lifeguard usually wear red so they can be easily seen on the beach or on the swimming pool. So anyways, um, so that's how chart colors work. And this is the modified by. And then what else? You can make a new value, but on this particular case, we only have one to ten, right? So you can make maybe um, level 11 and so forth or you can add a new value you can reorder how they display so if i click reorder here you can just move up and down see and then 10 is at the top but that doesn't make any sense right so you can skip to the bottom here boom right boom <laughs> you can play games with that and you can also set the default value from here so i'm going to cancel out so that is the order. You can also replace the value of a particular value. So if I hit replace, it's going to say uh, exact value changing from what? So from from all the swim kits two now changes to swim kits three. For example, we're not going to do that. And, and you can replace all blank values here and hit replace. And depending on how much data you have, it will take some time to replace this. If you need to replace an existing value, you can do that as well. This is a printable view. If you click there, it's just going to give you a printable view for any other purpose. Present presentation, maybe for meetings, discussion, and then chart colors. And you can 
select assign fixed colors to all values or assign dynamic um, colors to the value so that's that and then let's go back to our trail all right <clears throat> Okay, manage pick list value. Uh, we have discussed about that. We can make a new one. Reorder, replace printable view and chart colors. And now, there's some notes here. What happens um, if the value gets deactivated or, or become inactive? So basically, I'm gonna go back to my example here and pop up a new window or we can use this if i go to my opportunities which is the swimming lessons so for example swim kids 10 here right i'm gonna close this guy and hit details now we see the swimming um, le lesson level here is 1 to 10 right you see 1 to 10 what if i hit cancel and I deactivate one value, what would happen? It will just disappear from the pick list. So for example, I am going to deactivate um, one, for example. Maybe we don't have enough teachers for any reason in your situation. So now inactive is one or one become inactive, right? And when that happens, one will not be available on the pick list as simple as that so if i go back here and i refresh this record here and when i want to edit it by going to the details tab and then i want to edit chapter uh, not chapter swim kids level 10 i won't see one see it's gone just two all throughout 10 because we have deactivated it I'm going to cancel and let's activate that again. It's as simple as clicking the activate button there. That's how you can deactivate and activate um, values from the available pick list drop down. So let's go back here. Um, deleted and replaced values. We have discussed about replacing values and then as important rules about important things to know about inactive so existing records containing a value when you set it to inactive continue to contain the value right so if you deactivate so if i go back here and we deactivate level one right and let's reorder this this doesn't look right so this should pop up all the way boop and then save so when we deactivate level one for example what about all the lessons or the kids who already take swimming kids one will it change for example if i go back here swim kids 10 if i deactivate swim kids 10 level 10 will this be gone no it will stick here okay but for new records we cannot choose 10 anymore old records will keep the value even when we deactivate it okay but if we replace the value then it will change because we are replacing the value as simple as that so you can reactivate which we just did okay there is a limit yeah there's a limit so if you have like um, a, a situation where you have hundreds of available options there is a limitation on how many available values you can set up for people to choose you can have a thousand values here it's too much right you so well it, it does it makes sense uh, because you won't be using a thousand values why would you do that you would think a smarter way for people to do data entry than that okay important things to know about deleting so decide whether to replace the value or leave it blank, right? If you replace it with a blank value, existing records will not display the value anymore. So it's gone, the value is gone. To keep the value on existing record, use deactivate. So deactivate is way, way, way much more safer than deleting the value. So back to our example here, if you decide to delete 
swim kids level 10 instead of deactivating it then the value on here will be gone it will become blank because we just deleted the value it's not available anymore right so that will mess up your data so be careful deleting stuff always be careful deleting stuff in Salesforce so back here um, if you replace a parent value in a controlling pick list, the pick list dependency on the value is lost. After replacing the parent value, recreate the dependency using the new parent value. So yeah, if you go back to our example here, we have a dependent um, notes here, right? Or not, not, not notes, my bad. We have a dependent next step recommendation. This is a dependent pick list from here, right? So if we delete this um, level 10 and then this will be lost. If we choose level 10 can become a swimming instructor, right? This will be available, right? So if we delete 10, then this will not be available anymore because this is linked to level 10. Only level 10 can be recommended to apply as a swimming instructor. What if we delete value level 10? Then this will not be available. That's what it's saying. So it's linked, right? So when you manage pick list, think about that. To replace the value, create the new value first, then click replace to start the process. So you have to have a new value first, then replace it. All right, let's um, scroll down and then this is what we've discussed as well already. Why a pick list values API name is important. So yeah, API is connected to all kinds of processes in Salesforce. So best not to change the API name here. You can change the values, but keep the API name as it is. So because if there is any other integration like Apex coding or anything, um, out of Salesforce, it may tend to break things apart. So let's keep that as it is, okay? So controlling fields, dependent pick lists, and narrowing values. All right, so let's see here. Now we've created this dependent on the previous module, right? Like um, when, when the swim kids level 10, right? You have recommendation, these three, right you can recommend the student to become a lifeguard and swimming instructor but if they are not level 10 yet they're still level 2 you can't recommend them right as a lifeguard or swimming instructor you can all, all uh, you can only recommend them to go to the next swimming lesson there's no other option here just two so that is a dependent pick list we've done that and then use formula for default pick list value so what does this mean again it means we can define the default value of the pick list to be a certain value like pre-selected and we can define the criteria of what value gets selected okay so we have an example here, but we want to do our own example with the Swim Kids program. Let's go back here to our object manager. And I'm going to modify the swimming lessons, which is the opportunity object. Here. Fields and relationships. And we'll see if I go to Swim Kids level, the level. Now I have added a new level, look at this. It's called the Swimming Instructor Orientation, okay? So if a Swim Kids student have passed level 10, they can go to the Swimming Instructor Orientation. So the Swimming Instructor Manager will call the parent of the student, say, congratulations on your child who just passed swim kids level 10 i would like to invite him or her to become a swimming instructor would you be interested so if the parent and the student or the child wants to become an instructor 
they can go to a new swimming lesson, so to speak, not an actual lesson, but it, it's a swimming instructor orientation, okay? So we want to pre-select this if the person who is creating the lesson is the manager. So as you can see here, we already created a default value. If I edit this, I'm going to explain this formula. Basically, it's really simple. If the user role name is swimming instructor manager, then select this as the default value from the pick list, swimming instructor orientation. Okay, so let's test that. So if I go back to my swim kits here, and here, this is the mom, the parent, Kristen Kilpatrick. The student has passed swim kits 10, right? And now I want, I am the uh, manager, as you can see here. If I pop up a new setup tab and I go to roles, roles here. And we have swimming instructor manager, right? So if I hit assign, as you can see, I am already assigned, see, Jimmy Tanzil as the manager. So now as the manager, if I want to create a new lesson for Kilpatrick here, I go to related, and then opportunities, which is the swimming lesson, and I hit new. There, swimming instructor orientation is already pre-selected. So it's not none, like usually it's like that, right? But because my role hits this criteria, which I already closed, if I go back here, my role, I already closed, the, oh here. So my role is the swimming instructor manager. So because I am the manager now, when I create a new lesson or a new opportunity, this is pre-selected like you just saw, okay? So that's basically what this default field and the formula do, which is pretty cool. It's a real time saver, right? Okay. And then this is basically what we did and that. And we can also change the field type to allow or prevent multi-selection. So a multi-select pick list. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do the challenge together. So Use the formula to define uh, a default pick list value. So use the formula editor to set the default value for the macaroon flavor pick list as follow. So this would be on the product object, remember? I'm gonna copy this guy. So macaroon flavor from the previous module or previous section, we go here on the opportunity and Object manager is under product. Product here, and then fields and relationships. And then we have macaroon flavor here, right? So if I hit here, I already set that up. See, default value is already set. So you just go on the edit there and paste the formula there, right? And save it. And that is all, that's the challenge. So now I'm gonna get my 500 points and I will see you on the next section. And bada bing, bada boom, 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 boom. I'll see you on the next video. Come on, boom. Boom, 500 points, good job. Thank <laughs> you.